you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about differentiation of implicit function. Differentiation of implicit function. Okay. Now let's take this question. Find the derivative of the function x cube plus y cube is equal to 3xy. X cube plus y cube is equal to 3xy. You know, this is implicit function. The one that involves a function that involves several variables. Okay? You know, the ones we've been solving is xx, but this one involves x and y. Okay? Now let's go. We are going to differentiate this function with respect to x with respect to x now let's go we're going to let's go we're going to differentiate s cube so the differentiation of s cube is going to give us 3 s squared plus the differentiation of y you know in this function we are differentiating this function with respect to x and i want to differentiate y now let me show you what we are going to do you are going to differentiate y as if it is x and then add the y all over the x because it is implicit hello i don't think you get what i'm saying so when you have different variables in a function and you are asked to differentiate this function in respect to another so that different variable you are going to differentiate it like the normal variable and then at the end of the day, you put the y all over the x as the case may be. Okay? So that means we are going to have in this function, we are going to have 3s squared, that is the differentiation of s cube, then plus you differentiate y cube as if you are differentiating s cube. Okay? That means we are going to have 3y squared. But because it is implicit, we are going to add the y all over dx hello hi equal to let's go we have 3x y you know this 3x y we're going to apply product rule okay so we have 3x y here we're going to differentiate x multiply by y multiply by 3 plus differentiate y multiply by x multiply by 3 hello so that means we are going to have the differentiation of y uh, sorry the differentiation of x it will give you one one times y y times three to give you three y plus when you differentiate y it will give you what dy all over the x so dy all over the x times x times three it will give you three x dy all over the x hello now let's go in this place now let's collect the like terms the ones that are having the y all over the x let's collect them together let them be in one side okay so that means we're going to have three y squared dy all over the x so three s dy all over the x in the other side we bring it to this side so why it is coming to be minus three x dy all over the x is equal to we have three y minus you know we are taking this three s squared in this place to the other side so it will be minus 3x squared okay now from this uh, place now let's factor out dy all over the x let's factor out dy all over the x so if you factor out dy all over the x in 3y squared all the remaining will be what 3y squared so factor out dy dx in 3x dy dx all the remaining will be what minus 3x put them in bracket is equal to in this place too you know we are having 3y minus 3s squared let's also factor out 3 because 3 is common okay so we are going to have 3 open bracket y minus s squared okay so here let's make dy all over the x the subject of formula we are going to make dy all over the x the subject of formula that means we are going to divide both sides by 3y squared minus 3x hello 
we're going to divide it by what 3y square minus 3x so we're going to have dy all over the x open bracket 3y squared minus 3x all over 3y squared minus 3x is equal to 3 open bracket y minus x squared all over 3y squared minus 3x okay so in the left hand side they will cancel each other will be left with dy all over the x so here we are having dy all over the x is equal to 3 open bracket y minus x squared all over 3 y squared minus 3x so in this 3 y squared minus 3x let's also factor out 3 so when you factor out 3 you'll be left with y squared minus x okay so here let's cancel out 3 because they are both in numerator and denominator so when you cancel out you'll be left with dy all over dx is equal to y minus x squared all over y squared minus x hello yes this is the differentiation of implicit function okay thank you let's take more example with uh more examples you will understand better all right let's go